Hello friends, I am Rajneesh and today in this session we shall be understanding how to configure and how to manage LDAP directory server. So just have a brief introduction of uh, how it stores the database. Under the root it has cn equal to config which stores the all the configuration details of the database. Under it we have cn equal to schema which consists of all the schemas that are loaded into the directory server it could be core, cosine, inetog, we'll see that in later. Under cn equal to config we have a list of all the modules which are loaded into it. So it has cn equal to modules under which all the modules can be seen. And the other structure goes corresponding to the database of linuxcbts.com. So here dc stands for domain component and organization unit OU stands for organization unit, CN stands for common name. So this is the main database that we are talking about. DC equal to Linux CBTs, comma DC equal to com. So we have divided it into multiple organization units. One is OU equal to people which will consist of all the users. All the users under this uh, linuxcbts.com. OU equal to group will consist of all the groups corresponding to this linuxabts.com and the same is with OU equal to hosts. It will consist of host to IP address mapping which could be accessed from any PC or laptop or desktop which is using this LDAP directory server. And the final is OU equal to sudoers which will consist of all the pseudo maps which could be distributed across multiple machines so here we start up with so what is directory service it is a central location in which we can store all the database this database includes all the users all the machines all the sudoers map all the services and it could be an address book the main objective of creation of directory service is that it has been optimized for read access. It doesn't provide any kind of rollback functions. The objective is to improve the performance when we are browsing a directory or when we are searching for a particular object or we are searching an object for a particular characteristic. So it is a specialized database specifically designed for searching and browsing. If you see to an example, it is a kind of phone directory that we can see. So in addition, it supports lookup and update functions, which should obviously be there if we are updating some kind of database. So database is optimized for read access, contains descriptive attribute based information support sophisticated filtering capabilities generally do not support complicated transaction or rollback because the objective is to uh, increase the performance of read and searching not for writing dns for directory uh, dns is not a directory server because it can is it, it cannot be browsed or it can you can't search out for a particular entry from a dns zone so what is LDAP? LDAP is a lightweight directory access protocol. This is a protocol that we use to fetch out the details from a directory server. So its information model is based on entries. What entry is? Entry is a collection of attributes. For example, if we are talking about a particular user, it has certain characteristics like it has a phone number, it has a UID, it has a common name, it has an email address so this complete user details is an entry and each each line for example a phone number is an entry uh, an email ID it's an entry so directory entries are arranged in hierarchical tree like structure here we have a look into it so when do we use an LDAP server so in case we are authenticating a machine, we can use it for user authentication. We could have Linux or Windows machines which could be authenticating using LDAP database. 
so it would assist us in storing all the databases in a central location storing users system groups we'll see example for storing address books representing the organization storing assets telephony information store user resource management email address lookup can be done we'll see that application configuration store and pbx configuration store